There are over 50 health conditions related to poor posture, ranging from the easy ones like tech neck and chronic back pain to the more challenging ones like erectile dysfunction, incontinence, and sleep apnea. Chronic disease costs the US over $4.1 trillion. I have to look at my notes. <laughs> By contrast, the better your posture is, the more attractive you are, which leads to the better opportunities for uh, professional and social advancement, the, the, be the better your health is, the stronger your bones are, which makes you more resilient against disease and pain. And you'll feel better about yourself and people will feel better about you. As radical as it may sound, improving your posture is an act of risk management. And that's why it's important to make sure that you have the best opportunity to have the, the impact that you intend to have in the world. Today, let's delve into the deeper reason why we all need to take action to improve our posture. So, sit up straight. <laughs> And let's get started. Throughout history, having good posture always meant strength, confidence, and beauty. And for 40 years, there was even the Miss Correct Posture Contest, sponsored by the American Chiropractic Association. There, and wind the clock forward, there was the, the, the lady named Twiggy. Anybody remember Twiggy? Yes. Twiggy somehow made slouching cute, and the notion went viral. Within a few years, in 1969, the American Chiropractic Association canceled the Miss Correct Posture Contest. Wind the clock forward. The computer age began. People started sitting at their desks to work all day. And now, wind the clock forward again, and today, People have elevated slouching to an art form in some parts of the world. But nobody is talking about the end result, the, the consequences of having a life of poor posture. We sit to eat. We sit to drive, many of us even sit to work out. Our technology-driven sedentary lifestyles give us so many problems, we can't even count them. But that's not the problem. The problem is we don't have a system to restore our uprightness and our good posture. There's no medicine, no surgery, no gadget, no brace that can truly fix our posture problems. You actually have to do something. Now, wouldn't it be great if the body just went into upright alignment easily and naturally? My name is Aaron Lloyd Ulysses Parnell. I served on the first Olympic sports massage team at the Los Angeles Olympics, where I helped athletes optimize their performance. I decided to make a career out of helping people get the best out of their bodies. The solution to our poor posture problems lies in posture optimization, and fascia-focused fitness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Posture optimization is the art and science of being able to, uh, being able to make the bones do the work of, of weight bearing. And fascia-focused fitness leaves your body free and effortless to make it easy so, to have great posture. 100 years ago, fitness pioneer Joe Pilates introduced the notion of core strength to the world. And I believe that he changed the course of history. The, 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 where I think he left off is with core flexibility, which leads to posture optimization. Now, in a world where posture-optimized bodies are the new normal, you'll have people having a simple workout that helps them go into their natural uprightness, keeps their bones strong. In the beauty industry, 
posture optimized beauty would in that would it would if affirm that the entire woman is beautiful and she's not just a pretty face. People working and, and studying at home with their computers and working in businesses would have a simple workout that, that would restore their body's uprightness and their movement freedom. But I make a distinction between good posture and great posture. Good posture is what you do when your mom walks in the room and says, hey, sit up straight. And you, you put your chest up high and squeeze your shoulders back. You suck your stomach in, hold your breath until she leaves the room. <laughs> That's why I say good posture is not good enough. Great posture, on the other hand, starts at the hips and the low back, and it leaves your body free and open, gives you uh, flexibility, and it helps you become fit, flexible, and fabulous at any age. Once you and I get to know each other, you'll know that I love music. I love to dance. Music is in my bones. And for every, every day, there's some kind of music that is the soundtrack of my life. And what happens for me is I'm here because there are people suffering because they can't do what they love to do. And I see I'm running out of time, so I'm going to jump to the end. And I say, when I look at people who are suffering with the, with the inability to do what they love to do, I think to myself, this is like a freight train that just ran into their life. Didn't anybody hear this freight train coming? And I'm here to tell you today that there's a freight train of posture problems heading in our direction. And this is, this is a bad thing because there's no surgery, no drugs, no brace that can fix our problems. You actually have to do something. And if this matters for you, please see me at the break. There's lots more. This turned in from a 12-minute a 12, a 12 talk into a 5-minute talk. And so here, talk to me at the end, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll explore what's possible for you.